Can you see the tallest building on that hill over there? The big building, not, it's not that big, but the tallest building you can see as far as the eye can see on the horizon. That is Kent State University Library as we pass by Kent State University Airport. It is 12.29 p.m. I am on my way to school today. One class, friggin' rights. Friday, beautiful 70 degrees, windows down. Anyways, the 5, the iPhone 5, it is right there. Unboxing is already uploaded. The 4S is in my left pocket. Um, everything seemed to have gone smoothly. Everything seemed to go smoothly. Um, only thing is the FaceTime over uh, cellular doesn't seem to be working right now. I think AT&T servers just need to update. Uh, so I'm going to wait for that. If it doesn't, then I'll have to go into the store and see what's going on with my data plan. But there is the AT&T store, and oh my gosh, shift lanes here. And there's virtually nobody there. I was surprised. We got there, we parked, we walked inside. Uh, immediately a guy came up with some outrageously good uh, customer service. Walked up and introduced himself and inquired how he could help. And it took about 10 minutes to move everything over, slam a new SIM in the, in the 5, and... And uh, now it's working really well. So we'll talk more about that later. I got a green light. I'll talk to you guys after class or some random clip before class at 110 in 40 minutes. Well, doesn't this just look lovely? It's completely clouded over. It's like 64 degrees, but I'm not really complaining because it's green. Uh, squirrel. Do you see the squirrel? I see the squirrel. <coughs> now he's gone. Do you see the spider? I see the spider. Ah! Now he's gone. All right, remember last week I was talking about how I lost a PDC sensor. It got dicked, it wasn't working right anymore. The whole program was cocked over. I'd put it in reverse, it'd be a long, solid beep, and it wouldn't tell me when I'm about to run into a child or a wheelchair. So I went online and I bought another sensor last weekend. It showed up today, and it's silver. It's obviously one of the sensors that goes in the bumper, like there or there, instead of in the trim pieces. So I got it, I took it out, and I was pissed that I was going to have to send it back and find another one. Then I thought, you know what? It's just a color. What happens if I spray paint it? Will it hurt it if I spray paint it? Ah, that's worth a shot. So I taped it all off, took it out in the yard over here. I made a pretty good mess with the spray paint can over there. You see it's black? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there's Cleveland right there. But over here, I spray painted it, I installed it after I let it dry for a little bit, and it works just fine. So problem solved, friggin' right. I've got iPhones everywhere. This is a 4S that I'm, I'm carrying around right now because some texts are still coming in. Obviously not right now, there's, there's not activated. But when I'm on Wi-Fi, sometimes I only get texts through the iMessage, and I don't know why. But the 4S is actually here, and I'm having a conversation with Colt. But look at that, isn't that freaking gorgeous? It's way thin, it's really light, it's beautiful. 64 gig white iPhone 5. Really, really beautiful job, Apple. For an 18.1 gallon tank, I'd say that's a lot of gas. Gallons are in the bottom there, of course. He's here with the five as well, my receipt. And we're done filling the carts. Beautiful night for a football game. How many people are at that? A lot. Most of the city, and now they're on their way home, probably. All right, well, we're heading in uh, to Flipside for dinner, but we thought this was a worthy sound. Real quick, we're gonna do an iPhone 4 us drop. No. Yeah, very funny. All right, listen to this, we're in a parking deck. Rear door of the E39. That is ridiculous. The front door is a little heavier. Same deal. Bank vault solid. Yep. It is 11:48 p.m. and I am tired. It's pouring down rain. There's a big storm system. Not necessarily a storm system, just a, a rain event, I guess, coming over exactly where I am. Except it's supposed to rain like all night and tomorrow. So um, I'm coming out here now to get my mag safe because I was in the sunroom for a little bit this afternoon. And the 5, the iPhone 5, is all set up. All my stuff is on it. It is a 64 gig white, as you can see. And I have, let's see, let's see how much space I have available. General about, general about. Uh, the 4S is a 32 gig, obviously white. And uh, I have 1.2 gigs available, but I only have 4,960 of the 11,311 photos I want on it. Songs 2112 versus 2585. Got 20 gigs free on the 5 and uh, the 1.2 on the 4S. And it was just really annoying. The last two or three months with the 4S, I would 
you know, if I find some nice car downtown, I'm like, I better not take too many pictures. I'm running out of space. And uh, I only had to have half my album synced, and I had to have whole playlists taken out. I had to uncheck songs I didn't listen to that much. And um, it, it was just nice to be able to fit everything on one device now, so I don't have to worry about uh, taking too many photos or anything. Now, the problem is the iPad, that's still a 32 gig. So I'm not going to be able to put everything on that until the next iPhone, iPad comes around and I'll be able to get a 64. But I had a 64 gig iPod Touch 3rd gen years ago. I never thought I would need 64 gigs again. I was only using maybe 15 to 20 gigs on that. And I always thought 32 would be okay, but with better quality cameras, photos became larger, my music library increases, I get more apps that are now bigger for higher resolution devices. And as time evolves, I need more space. I actually got i not iOS, I actually got Asphalt 7 today on the iPad, or on the iPhone 5, which is pretty cool. I haven't had a lot of time to play with it, but I like it. Um, I will be doing a full review. The unboxing's up, but every time I pick it up, I love the size of the screen. It's really thin. It's really light. I really like it. I go back to the 4S, and it feels, one, really slow. Probably just need a software reset. Um, two, it feels heavy, and it's, I mean, it's still pretty thin, but it's fat in comparison. And the flip is never going to be able to show you well, because it just isn't high quality enough. And it doesn't even look like the 5 is thinner. Actually, it does a little bit, but it really is. And the connector is obviously way smaller, and the headphones not at the bottom. Um, I watched some durability strength tests of the iPhone 5 on Mac Rumors. They dropped it from like six, seven feet onto cobblestone, and it didn't break. You know, it got some, it got a little bit of dents in the metal where it landed and hit uh, the the stone, but it didn't shatter the screen. Whereas the Galaxy S3 broke when they dropped it from like four feet. The screen shattered. So hopefully it's durable. Now, um, scuff gate looks like it's more prevalent on the black. Prevalent, pre pre prevalent, whatever. On the black one, the back of this is dirty right now. There's not a mark in it right now. I'm gonna have to have to be really careful where I set that aluminum down so it doesn't get scuffed around. I might get a case for it. I don't know. I hate cases. They make them feel fat. Uh, but I've got lots of scratches in this, which the flip won't do any justice for it. Um, and I really want to keep the five perfect for now. So. Uh, that is my diatribe on the 4S and the 5. If you got one, let me know what you think. If you didn't get one, let me know what you think. Um, I know there's a lot of people using Android out there that love it, and that's great. We need the competition in the market. So that's it for today. I apologize. It's a little longer. Day 649, I think. Am I totally wrong with that? That sounds wrong. 649. That might be right. I don't know. Look at the menu bar. Description. Title bar. Whatever it is. Tomorrow's Saturday. Going to the grandparents' house. I'll talk to you guys then. Good night.